Steve Wayne, you are an estate agent, yet you do a TV programme called North London TV. What the hell has that got to do with selling houses? Talk to me. Well, it's changed. The way marketing works now is very different. And we wanted to give something, we wanted to give good content to people. And this was a really good way of us trying to get out our message about the area we are and the area we work in. And sort of the less you sell, the more you sell. And it's, it's more about brand and, and myself as, a, as someone in the area to trust and to people to come and talk to than throwing up a you know, video of a brilliant house. Because people aren't interested in that. You know, people are interested in their area where they live and, and the community. And, and that's sort of what we've gone after with, with this. Now, um, I didn't coin the phrase, it came from America, but I mentioned this when you were at my client conference a couple of years ago called the Digital Mayor. Yes. And this is what you are doing. So if anyone wants to find out more information, just type in the word Digital Mayor. I've got loads of videos, but there's plenty of other videos out there. Yeah, this is Digital Mayor on speed. This is a whole other level of it. You know, okay. this is, you know, spending days doing filming, really good quality, really good editing. You know, not everyone needs to go and do it at this level. You know, for me, I've always been, I remember sitting with you in a coffee shop with the boys and saying, if I'm going to do this, I want to do it properly. Hmm. You know, and I think this has sort of come up, you know, really well for us. So you produce a, I mean, there's, there's, there's plenty, there's quite a few agents doing this at the moment. Some of them do it homemade yeah. with mobile phones and tripods. You decided to go at the other end of the a scale and, and go high end and actually get the video lads, Chris and Mattin, to actually yeah. film it for you. Why did you do that? Because that costs you money. It does cost you money, but sometimes, you know, what do they say? What's cheap is expensive. Yeah. You know, the amount of people that have turned around to me going, oh, wow, it's a really good show. Not just because of me and Roseanne, because what we're saying, what we're doing, but the way it's cut, the way it's edited, it, it flows. So what kind of, give, give, how, what does a show look like and where do you put it out? Fine. So obviously it goes out on all the, all the social media channels, you, you know, goes on YouTube, goes on Facebook, LinkedIn, all, all of those. Um, the basics of the show is us two presenting it, so we'll go out and we'll do speak to a local business. We'll go out and speak to, you know, someone who's um, one of the things we're doing is a local area guide. So at the moment, the first few we've done where I, we've spoken about the area, but one of the things we're going to be doing is speak to local people about their area because they talk about their area better than we can. Um, we do a top tips about property, about whether it's investments, new build homes, just a top tip section, and then you know. One of the great things that me and Roseanne get on very well, we've got a really good, you know, energy levels together, and it, that just sort of puts it all together to make it into quite a nice show. Well, tell you what, why don't we just show uh, a few clips of, 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 of the show now? Today I'm at Bushy Synagogue to meet a rabbi and find out a little bit more about the Bushy community. Uh, so could you tell me a little bit about the community in Bushy? Is it growing? What site of people are joining the community? Just tell me a little bit about, about that. So today I'm here with Nick Munro at Alderham Golf Country Club uh, to find out a bit more about the place. So... Hi guys, uh, today we're at Barrett's New Development in Mill Hill. It's called Ridgeway Views and I'm with Steve who's an expert in Help to Buy and he's gonna talk us through a little bit more about them. So firstly, just tell us a little bit about the help to buy. Yeah, that's got nothing to do with selling houses, mate. It's not about selling houses, it's about us selling ourselves, selling the brand, and, and you know, I've always said, the less you sell, the more you sell. You know, even when I remember when I was a junior, you used to go around the house, you know, you'd see these other agents showing the kitchen and this, that. people know what kitchen is, people know what lounge is, you don't need to sell it. And the same with this, it's the same philosophy. You know, the less you sell, the more you sell. We're trying to create a brand, an image, and a lifestyle. So how many episodes have you done now? We've done four of being done and okay. out. So you do one a month. How long does the show last for? About anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes. Okay. And correct me if I'm wrong, but even after this point, people are actually starting to talk about it on valuations, aren't they? Yeah, people talk about valuations. People talk about in the street. You know, you literally can't go anywhere at the moment without someone turning around. And I was, you know, one of the things I was worried about is people going to laugh at it. You know, and we've had completely opposite. 
you know, people that, oh, wow, I love what you've done. You know, and I think that's the whole problem with social media and, and going and starting to do video. Is people are so worried about what people are going to say. You know, I think people have respect for you, even if you do the worst video in the world, but you've actually got up there and done it. But it's been so far so good. It's been really good for us. I think you're committed for the rest of 2020 because so, it is a long game thing. It's, it, it's not something, look, it, with all of this stuff, it's something you've got to do long term and you've got to stick to it. And I think that's one of the biggest problems with the whole you know, social media world and the world we work in now. People want an instant return. And, you, you know, with property, this isn't instant. You want to show people that you're... That you're constantly there because it's as Paul Long says you've got to get them to know like and trust you and yes. and, and if you talk about stuff they're interested in which is their local community you you, you you'll win um but how much time does it take to do all this so we did the four episodes we did a day in London and we did a day back here in the studio so it took two days to do four episodes it's not bad it's quick and look that's the difference between doing it with yourself yes myself but with the guys who did it for me you know Chris and Matt you know, I didn't have to do editing. I didn't have to look back at it 20 times to see what didn't work and what, you know. You're going with guys, and the nice thing for me is I got really well with them as people, so it makes it really easy to work with them. And we just we were just in and out of places. You know, it was quick, it was easy, it was fun. You know, it wasn't... So you're interviewing shopkeepers, local rabbi, just... Done uh, the golf club, we've done gyms, you know, we've done all different things. We've done mortgage... Yeah, the, one of the best ones we did was, ironically, of a mortgage broker, which we all think would be boring as anything, but it was a brilliant interview because he does um, help to buy. And he told me stuff I didn't know. And, you know, it's, and they've, they've, it's been, we've tried to get really decent people. And as longer it goes, the better the quality becomes. And, and I know you're getting thousands and thousands of views and lots of engagement. And more importantly, people are talking about you at the appointments, which can't only help. Um, where are you putting these videos? Are you just, you, it's not, you're not just relying on people to come to your Facebook page, are you? No, we're, we're putting them on local pages. So we put it on our page and then we share it to, you know, all the local. And, and obviously we're lucky when, in North London, we've got a big catchment area. So there's, you know... 50, 60 different small suburbs, which all got three or four groups. So you put it on all of those groups. People like it and share it. And, you know, thankfully we've had a lot of other agents interact and go, Joe, look at this. And Bob, look at this. So they've gone and shared it to their friends. You know, obviously you get all the staff to share it. You know, your friends share it, your mum, your uncle, you know, everyone shares it. And it gets out there. And we've had, you know, on the first episode, we had over 13,000 views. Wow. And lots of likes and lots of comments, which is probably even loads of likes, loads of comments. And what, what's happened in turn is people have liked our main Facebook page. You know, who knows if we've made any money from it because you know it's hard to track. But it's it's all been positive engagement. Well, sometimes the most important things, are, you know, you can't judge a friendship by a number, can you? No. You can't judge a relationship by a number or a percentage. And getting inside people's heads, is it's a long. It really is a long game, and you've got to. You know, once you take that jump to do these kind of things, you've just got to trust in the process. Weren't you scared about going in front of the camera? Yeah, you know, we've, we've had conversations for many years where you're like, Steve, you've got to do this, you've got to do this. And I was like, yeah, yeah, and I'll do one or two videos and I'll stop. But you've just got to do it. And, you know, I think I've got better over time. I know when I'm not, you call me and tell me I'm, it wasn't a good one. But you don't like being told what to do. <laughs> I don't like being told. To come off right grumpy off the phone, but... You know, it's good to you have You seem people. to take it on board. I try, I try and take it on board. I try and listen. It comes from a, you know it comes from a place of love. I know it comes from love. Um, but, you know, you just got to go and do it. And, you know, the more you do it, the more comfortable you get. And then suddenly, you know, I get my guys to do smaller ones, not not of that scale. But, you know, the amount of times people walk in, and you'll go, I'm, you know, I know who you are. I've seen your videos. And it helps and it works and it gives, it gives familiarity before you start. And it, it just, it does help, you know. And what have you got to lose? The worst thing someone's going to turn around and go, I saw your video, you look stupid. Who cares? Guys, the power of video is so important. And I know a lot of agents are using their mobile phones to try and sell houses. And you have a duty of care to sell your own houses to earn money and get the properties away. But if you really want to succeed at this game of agency to make, be the attraction agent, the attraction agent that people want to come to you, it's like trying to pull someone when you were back when you were 18 or 19 years old, obviously, <laughs> is that if you went in there and basically said, come on, get your coat on, let's get, put, let's get, let's go to bed and let's get married. That not work. Ain't gonna work. You gotta woo them. You've gotta talk about stuff they're interested in, not stuff that you're interested in. And by talking about your local community, doing the digital mayor technique, you will win big time. You won't win straight away, but you'll get engagement, which turns into likes, which turns into trust, and people do business with people they trust. If you need any more information, give put Chris and Matt a call. Are you happy for people to give you a call about? By all means, do you know what it's interesting? But there's a few things we've done lately, and we've had a lot of agents calling me and asking me questions. And I'm always happy to chat. At the end of the day, we're all in all in this together, and as an industry, the better the industry becomes, the better it is for everyone. Of course, it is. 
Uh, Chris England and Matt Lee are Property Video Solutions in Grantham, and uh, they're good mates of mine. We do the, the prop show. In fact, we just did we just did the Christmas special just, just a few minutes ago. Um, if you need to find any more information about Digital Mayor, I've got about eight or nine videos about Digital Mayor. Other people you need to check out. Um, check out uh, Love ODB, O-A-D-B-Y, with uh, Luke Sinclair, who I know you think a lot of. Uh, we've also got uh, Louis Thorogold from Hill and Clark. He, he gets 15 to, this is something to aspire to, after 18 months, 15 to 20% of the population go onto his Facebook page without being prompted, no boost or anything, and actually watch his TV programme. That's a weekly one. That's, so, that's quite a hard one in London. It is. It is. <laughs> um, well, you never should say never. Um, and obviously we've got uh, the stories up at Cheshire to Property TV, which is a fabulous bit of kit as well. Guys, this is the way, this is the future. Stop talking about yourself. Stop talking about your firm. Stop talking about your services. Stop talking about your market share or how big your willies are. You just talk about the stuff that people are interested in. You'll get their engagement and they will start to trust you. And that is what it's all about in this world. Thanks very much, Steve. Thanks for coming up to Grantham. Cheers.